the pressure's high, they're on TV, their work is on TV. So everything we do is under the microscope, but at the same time, we're very behind the scenes. The teams ask a lot of us, because the game's allowed to be played the way it's supposed to be. Coming out of high school, I just wanted to kind of be outside, work with my hands. I looked a lot into landscape architecture, horticulture, didn't even know turf grass science was an option. Started looking up places to go into the, the green industry, uh, stumbled upon the turf grass science program when I was browsing through NC State programs. Knew a guy that was at the Durham Bulls at the time. so. Kind of picked his brain about that, learned about this industry and just kind of the ability to be around sports, be outside, have that artistic nature to it. And so I just dove in and uh, didn't look back. Growing up from elementary school, middle school, high school, I was in art class every year. So that was always you know, a big thing for me. I loved painting, loved drawing. Every time I paint that midfield logo, it's kind of zenful. When no one's around, I'll pop my headphones in and just, just paint. But the intricacies of our logo, there's a lot of detail, but it's all curved. So you can just kind of get in the zone. You, can feel the fluidity of it more. It's not so rigid. The beauty of art is it just comes in all different shapes, sizes, and places. So for, for me here, like the field is my canvas for that. There's only two people in the NFL and MLS that have the same responsibility scope. So myself and the head groundskeeper for the Patriots in the New England Revolution are the only two that have full responsibility of the stadium and separate practice facilities for each team, NFL and MLS. One of the good things about that setup is that we're able to take my level of expertise and expectations create the standard we want across all facilities. The plan is to obviously remove all the football paint, getting the goalposts down, getting the benches unhooked from their AC units, getting the Mr. Fans off, all that pushed into the tunnel. Soccer bench has got to come out. Soccer goal has got to come out. My target is to be done by 10 a.m. Something about like the work, it's fulfilling. So the one thing I, I really enjoy is just kind of like the finished product. Anytime you paint a logo or you you know you mow a straight line and you get to look back and just see that finished product and just have that little sense of pride, like that's what keeps me going. Everything I've learned in the turf science program. I'm applying one little piece every day. <laughs> 